Okay, but I'll just have you, uh, I'm gonna mute you though, just so that it doesn't make extra sound. Um, okay, so, first of all, um, before I get into the Bible study, and now that I just muted you guys, you can totally mute yourselves, but if I wanna find out how you guys are doing um, with your workouts, and with your nutrition, like if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, um, let me know. So, so, um, well, Casey, as of Monday, you've been doing Tuesday. No, my workouts are good. It's just today, Chris isn't, my husband isn't feeling too hot. So he asked me to order Subway for dinner. So it's not horrible, but it's not it's great. So worse. I'll have carbs today. Oh. Hey, you know what, you guys, the thing with carbs <laughs> is they're carbs. If you have extra carbs, you drink extra water. If you have, like, extra things, you add in an extra veggie. So, Casey, add in extra veggies and extra water tonight, and that's fine. Like, I mean, did you enjoy your sandwich or whatever it was that you got? Did you enjoy it? I haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> you ordered something that you wanted then, correct? Yes, but it's still semi-healthy. It's got, you know, it's Subway, so it's not like, But no. that's my point, though, you guys, is if you guys are having these kinds of things, like, don't feel bad for enjoying something. And don't feel bad if all of a sudden you don't follow your meal plan one day. Like, it's totally okay. And as long as you guys keep coming back to you, that's the biggest thing. Can I show you something? Yeah, show me something. Show, show, okay. Look at this. Casey, that's amazing. There's like hardly any bloat. And I'm on it. So there's always bloat when you're on it. <laughs> yep. Always. Always. But that's amazing. See, and you've, you know, like, we've all had our ups and downs. We've all had, like, all of these different things to prevent us. And we get down on ourselves. We get frustrated with ourselves because we feel like we have screwed everything up. We feel like, no, you're screwed up. Go away. Um, we feel like we've completely messed up um, our journeys. He, got, he like completely threw me off. But, and then that's when that happens is, you know, we've had, we have a couple of bad days and we feel like we can't move forward. We feel like we can't do things because we had a day where we ate a whole pizza or we had the cookies or we, you know, we had the wine or whatever it was. And that's when people start, you know, falling away from their journeys and stuff. And so I'm proud of every single one of you and anyone who watches the recording, you guys have keep coming back to yourselves. You keep trying, you keep pushing, you keep figuring out ways to make it work. And that's amazing. Like, just Emma, just seeing you and your transformation, even just from a couple of weeks ago versus to where you started, that is huge. And Casey, just you and your journey and your ups and downs, you're still doing freaking amazing. You may not be exactly where you want to be today, but you're still doing amazing. And Stephanie, oh my gosh, like seriously, I don't even have to, like you have had your ups and downs, you've had your struggles, <laughs> you've had all of the things and you were absolutely rocking your journey she's just playing by the way like she's not trying to be mean um but that's the thing is that you motivate all of us you motivate every single one of us and I'm just so stinking proud of you and we're all excited to see what happens with you next because it's just mind-blowing but that's the thing too is that we also want to make sure that we don't get caught up in somebody else's story either because not everybody has the same progress um, not everybody is going to <laughs> knock my socks off. That's right. If you ever actually wore socks, then yes, but I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I believe you, <laughs> you know, with, with it being hot in summertime, well, I don't have any socks on, but anyways, my point being is that we have such amazing transformations in our group. Um, and everybody is doing amazing, but I also want you guys to remember that even including myself, we have to make sure that we're not comparing our journey to other people because everybody, everybody's journey is different. There's people like me who are trying to gain and maintain weight. There's other people that are trying to lose weight. Um, and sometimes everybody's bodies are gonna respond differently, right? Because some people are taller than 
than other people. So it's going to show differently. Some people just happen to lose weight and gain muscle quicker. And we just have to be mindful of those things. So if you were on here and you were, and by chance you were struggling with your journey, struggling with just trying to figure it out, just keep doing what you can every single day because you're going to get there and that's it. It's a journey. It's not, there is no destination because you can't just show up and get abs and expect them just to stay. That's just not how it works. You have to expect to put in the work every single day. We all know there's no magic pill. There is no quick fix. There is no, sure, the, re, the three-day refresh makes a huge difference if you've done that before, but you still have to work to maintain it. You still have to work to maintain all of the things. Just like Stephanie, when she gets to her goal, she's going to keep pushing because she's going to want to see where she can go next. And same thing for Casey, same thing for Emma and anybody else that watches this. You hit that goal and that's freaking amazing. And you be proud of yourself. Take the time to be proud of yourself for the clothes that fit, for less of the bloat when you guys are on Shark Week, for the time that you said no to cake instead of and having something healthier. Be proud of yourself for those small moments because you need to remind yourself in those moments where you're feeling down that you are enough, that what you are doing is freaking amazing because there's so many people out there that just can't. They can't do what we're doing, whether it be physical or they can't get out of their own way mentally to do what we do. And it's taken us all a heart. It's all taken us a minute to do that. We all still have we all still have those, those fears, those doubts, those insecurities, but we still get up and we still keep pushing ourselves and we still keep doing what we need to do. Casey, that's awesome. Um, you'll definitely have to let us know how the refresh, no, the other part, the refresh is going. Hopefully Zach starts to feel better soon. Um, but just be mindful and just remind yourselves that this isn't an overnight thing, that this isn't something that is just gonna get better overnight. We're gonna live our lives every single day, so why not just make them the best that we possibly can and include the things that we love and not make ourselves feel guilty about those things. Um, is there anything else anybody has questions, comments, concerns about? Um, I know I talk to you guys daily, but if there's anything, you can type it in the um, the comment area or the chat area. But I'm going to get into the Bible study. I know some people haven't started reading, and that's okay. I'm going to go a little bit. I'm going to share a little bit of a story um, just to go over chapter one and chapter two and then whoever watches this can catch up and we'll do chapter three next week we've been going a little bit slow just because i needed to figure out where people were at um so chapter one talked about forgiveness and forgiving um people that have hurt you and and done wrong by you and just to give you a little bit of perspective so i in chapter two is about the red crayon. You don't have to have a red crayon, but you'll see why I have it in a second. And so before I met Will, well, Will and I met when we were, we met online, like we were talking to each other online like years ago, but before he and I started getting together, um, I was dating a guy for three, almost four years. And he was just, he was mentally abusive. He always put me down. He always made me feel horrible like I was never good enough that I could never do anything um and he always pointed out my flaws instead of sh recognizing me for the things that I was doing like going to the gym and trying to eat better and trying to do better and he was doing none of those things and just always made me feel horrible and being with him as on top of dealing with anxiety on top of dealing um with depression and stuff that I had as a kid being with him broke me. Like it made me feel like I just was someone that just could never be put back together. And for the longest time, I always felt broken. I always felt like because I was broken, I could never work. I could never be put back together. And 
I struggled with our relate Will and I's relationship for a long time because I just felt like I wasn't good enough. I felt like no matter how hard he tried and no matter how patient he was, I just felt like I was never good enough for him. And it took me a long time, like after having James and even after having Maddie, it took me a long time. And I realized that I had to forgive this person because I needed to free myself. And I know a lot of people will be like, well, I don't want to forgive someone for something that they did. Like, I don't understand why they could do something like that. And it's not about giving them the freedom it's freeing yourself from whatever has happened in your past and that's the thing about this journey is that a lot of times people come into their journey and they're broken they come into their journey and they've had things happen in their past where they feel broken maybe something's happened to you that's caused you to have eating disorders or struggle with um with binge eating or, or emotional eating or some sort of event has caused you to struggle where you are today. And those are the things that you have to free yourself from. Those are the things that you have to forgive yourself from that forgive yourself for being in a situation that you didn't need to be in or forgive yourself for being with someone that broke you down. Like this person broke me. And I'm not saying you have to message these people, um, but I did, I messaged this person and he was a, still the same person, but I felt better. And I felt like I was able to move forward because I was able to free myself of that situation. I was able to free myself of that relationship. Like it wasn't holding me down anymore. And I, I was finally able to start healing and to start, um, my journey and in investing in myself. And it took me time, but I was finally able to break down walls with Will and, and really talk to him more. I still have issues with my anxiety and my depression and things like that. Um, but for me, most of the time, it's my anxiety. Most of the time I get stuck. I get, I am always living in fear and feeling like I'm not able to do certain things because I'm afraid of being uncomfortable because I'm afraid that things are, that I, sometimes I feel the ways that I did prior to when it comes to this journey, that I'm not good enough, that I'm not strong enough, that I'm not capable enough of doing what I need to do to make this journey work. And I know a lot of times people will be in the health and fitness journey and they will start to feel like they just can't go forward. And a lot of times it's because they haven't forgiven themselves or they haven't moved on from past relationships or past events that have made them feel how they are today. They'll start doing really, really well. And then they will start to notice that things are getting uncomfortable. And then those old habits start forming again, where they feel like they're inadequate, that they're, that they're not going to measure up, that this is a whole new thing and that they can't do it because they've gotten to this point many, many, many times before and their brain has taught them that because of their brokenness, because of their past, that they're just going to keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. And so eventually they just quit because they think, well, what's the point? Why bother? Why even bother trying if I know I'm just going to give up, if I know I'm just going to quit? I know that I'm just going to keep telling myself that I'm incapable of being better, being loved, being able to love myself and take care of myself and live the best life. Once you free yourself, those scars, those, those imperfections, those things that happened in the past, they're still there. There's still a cripple in who you are, you still see the scars, you still feel the pain, but it doesn't mean that you can't be better. It doesn't mean that you are incapable of an amazing life. And even though you have those scars, you have those fears, those insecurities, this journey is meant to help you heal and to be put back together. And even though that there's still those broken spots, this crayon, still writes 
this crayon still works, you have to still be gentle with the crayon because the crayon now is fragile. But the more reinforcement that this crayon has, if I were to put more tape on this, the stronger the crayon would be. And this is why you guys are on this journey is because you were in this group to look for that strength. You were in and on this journey because you want to be better than whatever event that has put you where you are today. And you have to remind yourself that even though you've had those events in your past where it's broken you down and it's made you feel inadequate and it's made you feel like you were incapable of living a better life, just remember where you are today. Just remember that you took those steps to get out of those events, to get out of those situations. And now you're investing in yourself and you're being becoming the best version of you. So sure, maybe you have those bad days where you, you overeat. Maybe you have those bad days where you binge eat or maybe you just have those bad days where you just can't get out of bed. Those are the days where you remind yourself that you are worthy because you've done it before. You've gotten yourself out of these moments. You've gotten yourself out of these hard times and you've been able to forgive yourself for things that have happened in the past. And so the very first thing that you guys need to do is just forgive yourself for the things that you can't control. Forgive yourself of the, the lies, the doubts, the insecurities, and all of the things that you've told yourself for so long. Forgive yourself of all of that negativity. And once you forgive yourself, you'll begin to realize that you can start moving your feet, that you're no longer laid, weighed down by the, ang the anxiousness, um, that you're no longer weighed down by the things that have happened before. Sure, they're still going to be a part of who you are, but they don't have, they don't get to dictate who you are anymore. And always, always, always know that it's so important to believe in yourself. And you'll start believing in yourself once you start realizing that you can forgive yourself of things that have happened in the past. And the, and she talks in the Bible study about just that, that she had addictions um, in her past that she had to overcome. She had relationships that um, she struggled with that were mental and physical um, things that she had to deal with. And she had to let those things go. And she was in a retreat at one day and someone just said the right thing to her. And it helped her finally just let go and just free herself and to realize that, that God is there for her. He's always been there for her and he's always going to be there for you guys. And maybe you're struggling with your relationship as far as faith, or maybe you're still building one, but just know that Believing in yourself is the first step. Believing in who you are and believing in your journey is what's going to move you forward. So believe in yourself on those days that you can't get out of bed. Believe in yourself on those days that you just can't wrap yourself around a schedule or believe that you are capable of handling four loud, crazy kids and a messy house. You have to believe in yourself every single day and every moment of every single day that you are worthy of an amazing life. And that just like this crayon, maybe you are battered, broken, abused. Maybe you've gone through so many different things in your past, but your past isn't how you are going to be anymore. Your past isn't going to define you anymore. If anything, it's going to fuel you to be that better version of you. It's going to fuel you to push yourself to hit those goals. So maybe you struggle with eating. Maybe you struggle with a schedule. Maybe you, you struggle with past events. Whatever the case may be, accept the fact that those are your struggles. Accept the fact there are things that you need to work on but accept the fact that's who you were. They don't have to be who you are becoming. And who you are becoming is a stronger, more confident, and amazing version of you. You guys are all absolutely beautiful just how you are. But you guys need to realize that even though the, the events that you've had in your past has caused you to feel broken, you still color. You can still live your best life. And you can still be absolutely 
beautiful and amazing, just like this crayon. And so I just want you guys to know that you just have to believe in yourselves every single day. You have to forgive yourselves and you have to do what it takes to make it work. You have to do the hard things, especially on those days where you just don't want to. The days that you don't want to work out, the days you don't want to eat clean, the days that you're struggling because there's so much crap going on in the world today. And it's just so easy to just fall and consume into that darkness that this blanket, just hiding underneath this blanket, those days just makes more sense that you have to be willing to put that blanket down. You have to be willing to turn the TV off. You have to be willing to get off Facebook and social media and stop the scrolling and get up, wash your face, go for a run. Do whatever it is that you need to do to invest in yourself, even when you just don't want to. There's so many things going on in life today that a lot of people are struggling with, but they don't have what we have. There's a lot of people out there that don't have what we have, and that's each other. And that's the biggest part of what is causing that strength with all of us, is that together... We, we hold one another together. Together, we help fit back those pieces that we didn't think that we could put back together on our own. And we have to remember that we can still color, that we can still run, that we can still exercise, that we can still eat clean. We can still overcome all of those things that we struggled with in our past because we're freaking amazing and we're not going to continue to allow those things to happen anymore. They may try to seep in, they may try to control us, and maybe sometimes they do, but coming back to you is where you need to be. Coming back to you every single day, every moment of the day, and reminding yourself of your purpose, of your why, and reminding yourself just how worthy you truly are. And so I want you guys to remember this week, on days that you're struggling, to remember this week just how much work and effort you put into your journey today. Remind yourself of your day one. Remind yourself of who you are before you and I even started talking. Remind yourself of the things that you have already overcome and just remember how much strength you've already put into yourself and just how truly strong you are. Um, there's a scripture at the end of the book. And so if you haven't been reading, totally fine. Um, but I do encourage everybody to hit, to get to chapter three. These, these chapters are seriously two or three pages long. Um, but at the end of each chapter, there's a, um, if you have the book, great. If not, if you have the like, um, audible or whatever, there's a website you can go to for the coloring pages. This was the one for this week. It was a heart with broken pieces in it. And it says valuable and loved because that's what it says at the beginning of the chapter. It talks about, um, how it says use and abuse and she crossed it out to say valued, valuable and loved because that's what we're doing. We're replacing what happened in the past with something positive today. Um, and so just be mindful of that. And then at the end of the book, the book, the chapter, she gives you a Bible verse. And if you want to memorize it, it's totally fine. Um, if you don't, it's there for you to reference. It's at the end of the book. And it talks about, um, it's Romans eight thirty eight and 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor demons, nor neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us for the love of God that is in Christ and Jesus our Lord. No matter what happened in our past, no matter what we do, no matter how many times that we fall, he's always there for us. He's always going to love us and he's always going to be there to pick us up and to carry us when we feel like we aren't strong enough to do it ourselves. So always, 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 Believe in yourself and believe in him and know that he's always going to be there for you. He's always going to be that tape that holds that broken crayon together. He's always going to be that strength that holds you every single day when you just feel like you can't move forward. And always know that he's there for you no matter what you're facing. And so I just want you guys to just remember just how valuable you are. Just remember your worth. Just remember absolutely 
how amazing that you are. And I think you guys are all really cool, really cool, amazing rock stars. And I'm just so thankful for every one of you. Um, before I close in prayer, I want to know, um, and type in your type in the comments, um, or you can unmute your line if you want to share, but I want to know, um, prayer requests and things like that. So I can pray about those things before I end the Bible study. If you guys have anything, just go ahead and type it real quick. Um, Stephanie, I know, I know that one, but if there's any other ones, anything else, anybody needs prayers for, um, go ahead and type it in the um comment area if it's an unspoken repair prayer request you can just type unspoken and totally can do that for you but i'll give you a minute if you want to type something out or if you want to share something before i pray and end this or even if there's anything that you want to share something that spoke to you Um, I think of like anything off of the top of my head right now. I don't think. Okay. Not worries, you guys. Just keep praying for our group and the people that aren't showing up in our group regularly. Um, don't be afraid to reach out to them yourselves. Don't be afraid to check into people, especially if you know that they're struggling. Um, we're all here together. I'm not, like I said in our call last night, like it's not just me. So if I don't do something, you guys take that advantage and just be like, hey, I know you haven't been in here in a while. And I just wanted to reach out and check on you and just make sure you're okay. Make sure that you know that there's other people in this group to talk to. Um, Casey had said, we are talking about knowing self-worth and just the help with knowing that I am made in his eyes and beautiful is so true because we all see all the imperfections. We all see all of the things that we've done wrong or the things that we could have done better. And just remembering that we are a masterpiece in his eyes is everything because he's forgiven us of all of the things. And when we believe in him and believe in our relationship with God, that it's almost as if the God sees this crown, but he doesn't see the broken pieces. He doesn't see all the jagged edges. He doesn't see the scars. He sees us as perfect as this, this crayon was fresh out of the box. That's how he views us every single day. And that's how we need to view ourselves. Even with these, with these cracks and creases and things, we have to view ourselves as being perfectly imperfect because we, our scars, our dimples, our blemishes, stretch marks, all of the things that we struggle with every single day are, are our reminders of all of the battles, of all of the fights, of all of the things that we've been through. Those are our reminders of just how strong we are. Mothers with stretch marks or losing weight or gaining weight or anything that's happened. Those are reminders of where you come from and how you're never going to go back or where you come from and how thankful that you are. Some of us are moms and not everybody gets to be a mom and remembering that our bodies have done amazing things and we have to treat it as something amazing. We all get frustrated with that post-mom body or for some people who haven't had kids yet, we get struggled, we struggle with just trying to find that balance, trying to overcome things that we've dealt with growing up as kids that maybe we always hated the mirror as a ch as a child and trying to fit in and having that negative relationship with the mirror whatever it is that you're facing whatever it is that you're struggling with you're a masterpiece you are perfectly imperfect and you are worthy of living an absolutely amazing beautiful life and you have to remind yourself of that every single day i have one thing that i want you guys to do However you want to do it, that's fine, but take a picture. I want you guys to write down, whether it be on your mirror, to put it on your screensaver, on your phone, wherever you're going to see it every single day, I want you guys to write, I am a masterpiece. And I want you to put it someplace where you can see it every single day to remind yourself that you're just that. 
and if you're watching the recording, um, I'm going to put it up in the group probably in the morning. I'm going to let it load. Um, but I will put it up and I want, when I post it, I want you guys to put it in the comments. I want you guys to realize that you guys are a masterpiece. You are absolutely beautiful. You were created in his image and well, he doesn't make trash. He just doesn't. And so I just want you guys to remember that. I'm going to close in prayer. Um, and yes, everybody is beautiful inside and out. Every single one of you. And we have to remember that. Add that to it. You're a masterpiece. You are beautiful inside and out. You are worthy of an amazing, beautiful life. And put that someplace where you see it on those bad days. Put it on the wall where you roll up, roll over in the morning and you see it first thing. Put it on your phone so that when you turn your phone on first thing or in the middle of the night when you can't sleep, use it as a backdrop. Put it in multiple places. Do it for you. But do it so you remember just how important you are. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pray. If there's nothing else anybody else needs to talk about, um, like I said, you can always message me, but I'm just gonna leave it with that and then just encourage you guys to read chapter three or listen to chapter three, however you wanna do it. Um, and we will do this for our homework throughout the week. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in prayer to thank you tonight for these beautiful girls, these amazing, beautiful women that you have put in front of me tonight. I thank you so much for our group. I thank you so much for all of the good things that have happened with every single person in this group. Father God, we pray tonight for those who have been quiet, for those who have been silently suffering and afraid to reach out. We ask and pray for each of them tonight that you provide them the strength in knowing that we're there for them, that you are there for them. We ask and pray right now, Lord God, that people who are struggling with this brokenness and having a hard time coming out of it, whether they're in our group or whether they're someplace else that you haven't invited us to meet them yet, Lord God, we just lift up every single person who's struggling. We pray tonight, Lord God, that you just help us all to remember that we are your masterpiece, that we are a part of something bigger, that we are a part of something greater, and that you have a purpose and a plan for all of us, even though we may not understand why we've been through the things that we've been through, why we have to struggle with certain things. We have to trust and believe in your plan and know that those things are going to help us become our future best versions of ourselves. We pray tonight, Lord God, for friends and family, for those who have lost people, for those who have struggled with, with relationships, who have struggled with abuse and neglect and anything else that we may be missing that we don't know about, Lord God. We just ask and pray for these broken pieces to be mended through this journey and so that we can help everyone grow on the other side. I pray for a wonderful night of rest for every single person who watches this and a great morning for those who watch it in the days to come. We love you, Father, and we praise you, Jesus. Amen. All right, ladies, I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing night. Go do something for yourselves if you guys, if it's still early for you. Go love on your family. Go take some time in color and do whatever it is that you need to do for you. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.